everyone <laughs> welcome to chapter 13 or 28 yeah well we'll get through that i'm thinking i'm going to start with the new you know each season starting from chapter one i know the long run it will be more confusing but you see i just talked myself out of it <laughs> I'm naming this one weakness because uh, a lot of things happened this week. Not a lot of things. One thing happened that led to a lot of other stuff. And uh, by the way, our drink today is yet again Coke Zero and a one and a half liter bottle of Coke Zero. I need to get more exciting drinks, but you know, I'm in a slump. As if nobody could notice that. Anyways, what happened this week? As I said last week, during the imposter chapter, which, if you haven't listened to it, go and listen to it. It's, it was kind of fun. My friend was here with me. And I thought I was going to talk this week about either, wow, we did the film, we did the shoot, and it's going to the editor or even if we didn't do anything it would be so boring that okay this week i'm going to talk about something else like sexuality for example but no <laughs> the guy who took a quite a large sum of money to come and build a set fucked it up so bad that i mean I don't know what to say. It's it's really bad. The set that he built looks like... It was supposed to look like a room that has no windows. It looks like a room that we added two MDF panels and cut a closet door out of it. It's so bad. And beside that... Uh, there are reflections of light in there, which does not look good, and it will make things really bad when they light the scene for the camera, and it's overall not a good thing. He fucked it up, and then came the barrage of calls. I'm usually a calm person, and you can ask people, I'm... I rarely get too mad or mad enough to actually start yelling. But the guy started saying some stuff and really overstepping his boundaries. So I had no other choice but to keep yelling. Start yelling and keep yelling. And uh, yeah, it was a screaming match. He said, you want to not pay me? And I said, well, I paid you. A quite quite a large sum, and you then ask for more money for a job that you didn't do as you advertised or promised me you would do. Oh, overall, not not a good, not a good week. The thing is, the accumulation of the bad feeling I got from this week, and the five month I spent. More than five. If you want to go back exactly when, you can actually go to the time I said I'm going to start working on this movie, which was August of 2020. Because that was the time I did the update video for my YouTube channel. And I'm still stuck in that. Finding a set. Building one. Getting it. The thing is, most of the props for the scene are actually done. We have them. We uh, tailored the pants. We bought the t-shirts. We did the... We bought the stamps. We bought the labels. We bought the uh, typing machine. I borrowed the phone. It's All of it is it's there. There is just no set. <laughs> and it, it's kind of important in a movie that is really reliant on one so with that said i'm sorry for the gross f 
throat noises. But with that said, as I was saying, the accumulation of all of that brought me to a point that now when I think about filming the movie, my mind feels tired. I am going away and away from let's make something of quality and more into the mindset of let's just fucking finish it. And it's not pleasant. It's not a mar- mindset I want to be in. Because uh, it means the destruction of the project, you know, when you're not uh, in a quality way. What good does it make? <laughs> now, add to that all of the things I talked about in the imposter episode. And now there is a new question. Am I just too weak to ever make it as a director? I know we live in unprecedented times, all of that bullshit. But what if I am too weak? What am what if aside from not being a good storyteller and a good director, I'm also too weak to ever be one? Uh, that those are the questions that uh, I'm not gonna say keep me alive, keep me awake at night. But you know, I feel them and I'm scared. I, the only thing I have confidence in, the only thing I know I know how to do, is tell stories and make movies. If I don't know how to tell them. What can I do? Hmm, yeah, I'm going to take a sip from my drink, and it's not a good idea because I'm desperately hungry. I haven't had breakfast, and actually, I had had dinner last night. I was asleep. I woke up at two a.m. I'm recording this at five a.m. Um, no reason, honestly. I just wanted to get it away, get it out of the way, and. That great sound. Yes. Yes. So yeah, I'm I'm scared. And beside that, I don't know what I should do. Should I make the movie no matter what? Sacrificing the quality that I know, I will sacrifice just to make it finish or should I postpone it and give in to the weakness that I am a weak person who couldn't (laughs) couldn't uh, make it with uh, with this one hurdle in the way he just laid down and submitted I don't know when I talk to people I asked a lot of people most of them said well you know If it's not going to be just another student film, postpone it. My actor, who the poor guy has been growing his beard for six months, said, postpone it. You want it to look good? I want it to look good. We need it to be good. So, yeah. Things are <laughs> kind of hectic. I'm sorry. I know this is very incoherent, but yeah. At the same time that I feel like I'm doing too much stuff that all amount to nothing. At the same time, I'm thinking I'm not doing enough stuff. I have this. I have the ASP. I have the YouTube channel, which I will, if I end up postponing The movie, I will try to bring it back for at least a few months. Um, Or even if I'm not going to bring back the scripted uh, show, I will try to do the unscripted one. I said I had an idea for an unscripted show called The Good, The Bad and The Interesting. Sort of like what it already has on the YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know what the fuck am I talking about, if you are listening to this on YouTube... Uh, if you go to the channel, you probably can see AK88 Studios in the Check Me Out on. 
and also for Yasu. If you're on Anchor, you need to go to the YouTube uh, channel. If you're on any other platform, there's as I put it in the RSS feed for the podcast, you probably can find the link to the YouTube channel. And so if you go there and you see AK88 Studios, that is what I did in the middle of quarantine, a show called Born in Quarantine. And it was fun. We did 20 episodes talking about different stuff that I did during the quarantine. And I want to do a show like that, unscripted, called The Good, The Bad, and The Interesting. But I want to do a show scripted called The Vault, from the files of the vault. So yeah, we'll see. All of this is just up in the air. We'll see what will happen. But what is definitely apparent is that things are not good <laughs> i'm tired i am mentally tired i am physically tired this week passed like it was nothing and i felt yet every single second of it it's not good so what should i do i don't know and by the time anyone listens to this what is that now i have had made my decision probably uh, well, actually, no, if you listen to this on Friday, I will probably make my decision on Sunday, because Sunday, uh, another person who does set building is going to come and sort of diagnose the problem with this one and give a prescription on how we are going to fix it. But yeah, if that does not happen, I need to still give a university a movie, because eh, it's my last year, it's my final project. But I thought I might do a documentary on musicals. Because I like that sort of stuff. But yeah. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what will happen. I'm so tired. I am so mentally tired. (laughs) I might be weak. Who knows? But, you know, it's not a good characteristic for a director. Things will happen, things will go wrong, and if I'm this easy to submit, will I ever have a chance of becoming anyone? I mean a director. Not necessarily successful, I just want to make movies. (laughs) They were not all bad news, though. There were some good things. I won yet again the top prize for a comic challenge. I wrote a comic script, and it won again. The last time, also it won. So, it's kind of good in that regard. And, uh, yeah. Thankfully, we haven't lost anyone this week. Except myself. I'm I'm sorry, I don't know what else to say. I have six more minutes to talk about and I don't know what the fuck am I going to say because I don't have anything else to say. That's it, I'm a weak person. <laughs> and uh, whether or not my movie will be made soon or in six months when I have more bonds accumulated and more uh, mental freedom we'll have to see what will happen god knows (sighs) yeah so I'm going to sing a little song really nothing has nothing to do with anything I'm my brain just sort of obsesses over a song and it plays it over and over again it it works in batches too like for a while i get into nat king cole for a while and then leonard cohen and all of that and i not just saying that i listen to them and then after that i don't want to listen to them it's just that my brain is like okay you've had your feel now go obsess on something else and this week it was 
Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. Times Square can shine as bright as you. I swear it's true. Hey there, Delilah, don't you worry about the distance. I'm right here if you get lonely. Give this song another. Listen, close your eyes. Listen to my voice, it's my disguise. I'm by your side. Hey there, Delilah, I know times are getting hard, but just believe me, girl, someday I pay the bills with this guitar. We'll have it good. We'll have the life we knew we would. My word is good. I guess that part really gets to me, you know. <laughs> someday I pay the bills with this camera. <laughs> I can't, I'm weak, I'm really weak, oh god, that was only two minutes, I thought I was singing for like four minutes, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else to say, I've played a bunch of Rome Total War, because I just needed something to get my mind off of how awful everything is, I do understand that this Thing is like the last straw and it's been five months more than five months of constant uh, feeling of helplessness loneliness and all of that but it's like I, I know I'm not alone COVID didn't just hit me it hit everyone not I'm not the only one that have problems everyone have but Am I being too hard on myself? I don't know. I don't know. I know I like confidence. That that part is apparent. But am I being too hard on myself? Or am I being too easy on myself? Saying no, you know. It's a accumulation of all of these things. When in reality I'm just a fucking weak coward. I don't know. And my view of myself my vision of myself is so crooked that I don't know for sure anything I don't even know for sure how I look and I'll say that because before I come to record this I went to the uh, to toilet bathroom I went to bathroom and you know relieve myself because I needed to sit down and talk for 20 minutes and I looked myself in the window in, in the mirror not in the window in the mirror and I don't know I thought I looked good I thought I looked handsome but when I usually think of myself I don't think of myself as handsome so yeah even my brain can't make up its mind over what I look like let alone what I should do, or what I appear as, or what my future will hold. If you're hearing a noise, by the way, it's because both the window is open, because it's fucking hot, and I'm really hot. And the fan in the... I have a bathroom in my room. We don't use it very much. It's just there, and the fan in it, it's always on, because... Otherwise, I don't know why it's always on, by the way. I should look into that. So, yeah. This has been this week. Talking to a weak person. <laughs> I know I mispronounce stuff, too. I will work on that. Part of it is a speech impediment. But maybe next week. Maybe next week we'll talk about the speech impediment. So, yeah. Send me a message on Anchor comment just you also have my email if you look for it you can contact me anywhere you want just contact me you know talk to me 
I know this is basically me doing a monologue, but I'd like to hear back. Thank you.